it's Alicia. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my entry for Annika Victoria's Make Thrift Chai Challenge. So in her recent video, she gave the opportunity to her followers to show off their own creations. And she gave about five themes to vote upon. And since first place and second place were so close to each other, she decided to put both of the themes up, which was either rainbow clothing or half-half clothing. So since I don't really wear rainbow clothes, I decided to go for the half-half theme instead. So I made this half-half skirt out of two pairs of jeans that I thrifted from the thrift store, and I also made sure to take them in the same type of fabric, so they are both in a corduroy fabric. Also, you may have noticed that I am not in my usual pink bedroom. I am in New York right now visiting my dad, and that also means that I don't have all of my usual sewing supplies, so you might see me using different techniques today. Okay, so let's get started. Before starting, it's best to draw out your design so that you can have an idea of what you want to make. Make a pattern from a skirt that you like the fit of. Fold it in half and trace it. But make sure to not include the waistband because we'll be attaching that later. Add half an inch of seam allowance all around. When the pattern is completed, you can cut it out. You'll need to cut four of these pieces to make the entire skirt. Before cutting the pieces, I realized that the beige jeans don't have a buttonhole, so I won't be able to attach the waistbands together. So I'm going to remove the beige jean button and make my own buttonhole. I just cut around the buttonhole until I was able to take it out. And finally, it could be removed. To clean up the edges of the buttonhole, I'm going to hand sew a buttonhole stitch. Pull the needle up from the inside, leave a little hoop at the bottom, and thread the needle through it. And pull it completely. Continue this all around the buttonhole, and this is how it should look like when done. Also, I used pink thread since I didn't have any beige thread with me. Now the waistbands can be attached together. Start deconstructing the jeans by seam ripping the pockets, the waistband, and the crotch seams. I will be keeping the left side of the beige jeans and the right side of the pink ones. Cut out the jeans into four pieces so that they can lay flat. Start with the back pieces because they're easier to sew since you don't have any zippers. Also, if the fabric does not fit the pattern, you'll need to sew pieces together to make it bigger. Make sure to straighten out the edges before sewing them together to have a flat surface. and now the fabric is big enough for the pattern. Since I don't have my rotary cutter, I am placing heavy objects on the pattern so it doesn't move. Trace all around the pattern, and then cut it out with some sewing scissors. Do the same thing for the other colored jean. For the front piece, align the top corner to the zipper, and repeat the same steps. Add fabric if there's not enough, trace, and cut. And repeat for the other color. And now all of the pieces are cut out. Start by sewing the back pieces together, and refer to your drawing to know which color goes where. Sew it in about half an inch with a straight stitch. For the front, attach this piece to the zipper. 
Normally, I would use a zipper foot to be able to sew as close as possible to the zipper. Move the zipper head out of the way when you get close to it. Sew another line parallel to the previous stitch to strengthen it. And as you can see, the stitches are a little crooked because I use my normal sewing foot next to the zipper. Before sewing them together, fold and iron down the edges about half an inch. Now we can sew the zipper to the beige half. Pin it down and sew as close as possible to the edge. Lay the pink side on top of the beige side and top stitch over the pink edge. When you get to the zipper, sew all the way back down so that there are two vertical stitches on the front. Now that the front piece is done, lay the front and back pieces right sides together and sew on the edges. And also I'm using pink thread when sewing the pink fabric and white thread for the beige fabric. Flip the skirt inside out and try it on. So since corduroy is pretty stretchy, the skirt was too big. If this happens, just take in as much as you need and blend it with the original seam line. And now it fits much better. Cut out the extra fabric and zigzag stitch or serge all of the raw edges to prevent the fabric from fraying. For the pockets, since they aren't the same size or shape, I'm going to remake the beige one. Trace the pocket you prefer on the beige fabric. Mark each corner and connect the dots with the ruler. Add half an inch of seam allowance on the sides and one inch on the top and cut the pocket out. Iron the top edge down twice to make a rolled hem. Iron down the rest of the edges down, and now we have two identical pockets. I am copying the stitches from the pink pocket to make them as similar as possible. And since the fabric is stretchy, it might get deformed. You can fix this by ironing it down. I am placing the pockets down 3 inches from the waist and 1 inch and a half from the middle. Sew the pockets down and don't forget to change the thread color when changing fabrics. And here is the back. For the waistband, measure the same length as the skirt you used to make the pattern. Mark the middle of the back, add seam allowance and cut it off. Place the beige waistband next to it and cut it off at the same length. And these are the two waistband pieces. To sew them together, open them up and place them right sides together. Sew at the edge. And now they are attached. Sandwich the skirt between the waistband and pin it down. Do the same for the back of the waistband to align the colors. Next, pin the waistband down evenly like this. Sew it down with a straight stitch and make sure to move the belt loops out of the way. Next thing I did was sew the belt loops down. The final step is to hem the bottom of the skirt. Flip it inside out and roll the bottom up twice to hide all of the raw edges.
So I hope you enjoyed the video and also Annika, if ever you stumble upon this video, thank you so much because you are one of the YouTubers who taught me how to sew. So thanks so much for watching. Bye!